Good morning, everyone. It is early morning. Well, not that early, but it is cold down here. Who knew Florida would be so cold? Like, it's in the 30s. Um, You know, you think the Sunshine State is going to be sunny, although it is, um, and warm all the time. No, 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 no. So I had to pick up whatever I could find that was warm enough so that way I can do some work outside because of the holidays. You know, no videos, no footage or recordings or anything. But um, I am going to be working on this. I can't wait. I want to set it up so bad. Um, so I don't know how far I'm going to get. I'm just going to do what I need to do and then I guess just show you guys along the way. But uh think I might do some clearing too. Who knows? Anyways, that's the game plan for today. Stick around and keep watching. Good morning. Today's a whole nother day to do some more work. Um, I'm going to be tackling somewhat of the front entrance here, but not past our property line. So that way um, I can kind of see what's going on back over there. The, the actual marker is somewhere over there. So I want to be able to see from the inside you know, until the end of that property line, because what I'm thinking is putting pallets up like if it was a fence, at least at the front. And that way during the springtime and everything, it'll be easier to kind of clean up and just keep the large trees around. But um, let's get started. <laughs> is how it looks from out here so it's a nice doozy mess and I think I'll take a picture so I can keep it and put it during um, in between the before and afters okay so I stopped for a minute just so I can show you guys the way it looks standing from pretty much the entrance um, <clears throat> this really does remind me of the way the property looked at the beginning when I started working on all of it, it was crazy. But I'm gonna turn it around right now so you guys can see. So this is what it, this is how much is cleared out already. It's huge, it's unbelievable how humongous it is, okay? But this is the way it used to look. Believe it or not, the entire property was like this. You know, where not even a car could pass by. There were tiny little paths like this, but that was rare and few. 
Um, so based on the fact that these paths are there, I'm going to continue chopping down and stuff until I reach the little orange marker over there between the trees. I don't know if you you guys can see it. Um, I don't even know which direction my finger is pointing at, but I mean, from where I'm standing, I can see it. It's, I don't know, anyways, whatever. I would like to clear off that entire area going in that direction so that way you just see the big trees, um, all the little ones I wanna take down. But there's quite a bit of work. I'm gonna see how much I can get done today. Um, so far I've cleared off this area right here which had um, all of that <laughs> so uh, hang in there you're gonna see a lot more tearing down because like I've labeled this video this is how I clear the land Okay, another small little tiny break. I wanted to show you guys when I'm cutting because I am cutting with a handsaw and I'll show you right now. See, these are my two, my two tools that I use mostly when I'm clearing the property. Um, I love them. You know, I try to get as low as I can, but when I'm targeting trees, do you see this thin one right here? Okay, so you see that it's at an angle already, like kind of curved in over here. So because I tend to start cutting, what I do is I start from this side. And as I'm getting halfway through, I start pushing it that way. So that way the blade does not get stuck. So it helps to kind of, you know, get the tree um, off its center. But if it's completely straight... <laughs> It is a pain in the butt because you got to put a lot of pressure while you're also sawing. Um, but like I said before, I do it very, very low in the ground. So that way in the future when I have a lawnmower or whatever, I don't have to worry about those trunks coming in and completely messing up the blade. So I'm going to move the camera in a little bit more since all of this has gotten cleared up already, which is fantastic. So... I'm doing pretty good in time and stuff. I don't want to overdo it, but with this stuff, believe it or not, I don't. I mean, I might lose a little breath, but I'm not carrying heavy stuff or anything. And I am going to try to start burning because I don't want this to accumulate. It will get big very quickly. So keep watching. My goodness I've done a lot <laughs> there is such a mess everywhere that I'm gonna have to take some time to just start burning just call it quits for the moment see how I do with the burning and if I feel like chopping down a couple more then that's great but let me show you how everything looks so far so I'm pretty much in the center of the work I've done um, I still can't show you really well because of the sun um, where the flag is, but it's like all the way back there somewhere. Um, so my, my whole goal is to kind of cut until on the side of the property line as well as the front, you know, just kind of clean it up and take out all these small little branches. But some of these trees that you see right here, and like slanted and all that, they're all cut. It's just, I left them where they are because as you can see, I have mounds and bushes and trees and stuff all over the ground. Not to mention all of that.
Oh, oh, oh.